Hey boys, welcome back to some more Matt Burden career mode on Rugby League Live 4. We're going to be going straight into round one of the season and uh, and taking on the Melbourne Storm, which is which is a tough. Uh, it's a very tough first uh, first round up on the on the scale here. Looking at their side, looks pretty damn full strength to me. They got Pappy at the back, the halves, the spine, the forward pack. Couple of the new recruits there. Tarek Sims gets a spot. Ali Katoa on the bench. So this will, this will be a good little tester for this uh, new rostered dogs. If we look at our side, no no Ado Carr in the side, which is a little strange. Uh, Skeleton was there in the centers. Reed Marty kick out. Uh, Ryan Sutton. Um, and then the bench. Uh, a pretty strong bench, if we're being honest. I don't know why Ado Carr probably out injured, surely. Otherwise, I'm sure he would be in the side. So. Unfortunately, it looks like he, I don't know, I, I'll have to look to see what, uh, um, on the, on sort of the, the list of, of injuries to see how long he's out for, but, uh, hopefully we can, you know, get us a season off to a good start. That's not a good start to the game here. Ryan Pappenhausen getting straight through the middle and getting a nice little offload back to Josh King and, and first set of the game, not what you want to see. Um, the storm absolutely running rampant as now Pappy gets another touch of the footy. Third tackle, Josh King is going to score. They must have got a repeat, uh, repeat set of six at, at some point. And their, their first real touch of the footy, our first bit of defense, they're going to go length of the field and score pretty much untouched with uh, with the big man. So that's uh, that's not a great start, I would say. But maybe, a, you know, a bit of a wake-up call, you know, with a lot of hype and a lot of... A lot of confidence in this squad. Um, that just goes to show that the Storm, that they're, a, they're a damn good team. And they, they do start the season very well traditionally in real life. They, they, they're one team that just, they can click from uh, from word go. Um, obviously, in real life, they're going to be missing poor old uh, Ryan Pappenhausen for a bit. So that'll that'll hold them up a little bit. It's Honestly, it's so disappointing that Pappenhausen, you know, missed so much last year. And now he's going to miss, I mean, honestly, he'll probably miss like half the year this season as well. Is uh, a good little kick there by Kyle Flanning and we called for it. Unfortunately, that man again, Josh King, he's having an absolute belter of a start here. He's been, he's been in absolutely everything as Liero there takes a, takes a hard carry. But the Storm get another chance, 26 minutes gone. That man again, Josh King driving towards the line. Um, we've been okay. We, we've consolidated after that first initial set of six, but the, you know another try here would really put the dampers on. But uh, going back to the Pappenhausen thing, it's it's just very frustrating because I mean Pappenhausen in, in that Storm side, they would be competing with the Panthers as the best side for sure. But it's uh, not to be as the man we're just talking about. I think he's going to score the second try here. I don't know who it was. It looks like Kyle Flanagan maybe trying to come up with the with the last ditch effort to, to stop him, but couldn't hold the ball up. And in uh, the Storm are going to go up by uh, ten points to zip with uh, Papi looking to convert here. He's going to uh, he's going to sneak it back nicely. So twelve points up. Uh, not uh, not a great first half by us. Also, I, I should mention. For whatever reason, the Storm jerseys are all stuffed up as uh, great work here. We are on the back of a, a nice ball. We try to get it out to the speeds. It's out wide and it, oh, just a bit of bad luck there. Just ricocheted off one of the dogs, uh, not dogs, Storm support players. And we couldn't get it out wide. Otherwise, a try was a try was on the cards there. But yeah, the Storm jerseys, I don't know. I, I think like most of them are good in the game as well. Just, I don't know, for whatever reason, some of them... I don't know, just the assets don't load on the console version. I don't really know why that is, but yeah, there, there'll be a couple throughout the season, I'm sure. Most of them are, are proper. They're also like, the other thing with the console version, some of the logos are all like, they're, they're a bit pixelated and it's just, you know, it's one of the trade-offs for the console version. You can't, you can't get proper like custom made jerseys as we kick the line off the penalty the win was against us I, I i didn't hit it sweetly but thankfully cameron munster uh just took it out of play so we, we get a little reprieve we almost absolutely squandered a, a a penalty right there that would have been disastrous as we swing it out wide here to the winger i honestly don't remember who's on the wing there but uh, a nice little chance on four tackle kick out we get out to the winger. He beats a couple. That is going to be a great try in the corner. Who is this? 
uh, Paseca, Doris Paseca. I, I don't even know who that is, but uh, I would hope that car comes. I mean, he looked pretty good there. He, he absolutely burned the storm down this left hand side. So um, hopefully, uh, you know, Adakar gets back on this uh, in this team in in the coming weeks. But uh, the young guy there has done a sensational job. As uh, unfortunately, the kick for goal. Not a good one, so we're still down by eight points, but a good little hit back is that's a that's a great uh, little outside inside play. And we get the, we get the ricochet back to I think it was Avarillo playing at the at the back in this one, but uh, yeah, we we get a, a repeat set of six with a chance to you know put the put the storm under a bit of pressure here as a little outside inside ball again there, and we are going to barge over. Who was that? Luke Thompson, perhaps? No, who was that? That look like um, I have no idea. <laughs> it sort of looked like Braden Burns um, just on the replay. I'm not. I'm not actually too sure, but uh, he scores nice and close to the post, so we will make it a two-point ball game. Twenty minutes to go in the contest. Unfortunately, uh, an error off the kickoff has given the Storm a golden opportunity. Cameron Munster. Oh man, it's always a absolute just panic stations if he's a dummy half that close to your try line there was nothing really on but you know that you know just a little bit of ad lib play he, he just bamboozled the defense a dummy beat one and that was all she wrote so the storm we hit back nicely couple of tries bang bang and then the and then the storm just uh, make us pay with a with a sloppy error going back up to an eight point lead which is just it's just a killer really Eight points the the deficit is a nice little inside play there getting it onto the big man and the storm just allowed the the simple try straight through the guards i think it's penguin jr on the field he is a tough man to stop that close to try line he's just able to he just always wiggles out of tackles on penguin he's he's very very strong and that's a nice little try assist we'll take that we didn't really do too much but uh you know just getting the big man involved close to try line so Again, we're two points down. We, we have a chance to, to sneak a victory. And uh, we do have the ball for this last set of the game. There's a nice hand across the winger. Beautiful work. He kicks it back on the inside. <laughs> we're looming up the field. Oh, my goodness. It's a fantastic play. Who was that? He gets the offload to Reed Marnie. Couple of tackles left. Couple of minutes left. We just can't panic. There's, there's plenty of time for this set of six to play out. We go to the left, we cop the big shot. I was trying to get it out there. Couldn't quite get the pass away, but it's still a chance. Kick out the man you want with ball in hand. Not able to, to do anything. The Storm are finally starting to turn up in defense though. Last tackle, last play of this first round. He's gone back to Reed Marnie. Give us the damn ball. He's put up a decent kick though. And oh my goodness, it's going to be Skelton. The, the man on debut for the Doggies is going to score the match-winning try. And how the hell have we won this game? I do not know. We, we, we played awfully in the first half. We just kept we just kept finding a way to score just to try just to keep us in the contest and made a long range break with the young Paseca on the wing. He kicked it back beautifully for us. I thought for a second we were gonna score the match winner, but able to read Marnie of all plays the man on, on debut as well for us is able to put in a pinpoint kick for Skelton, the big man. And we get the, we get a first round win. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the the Matty Burn career mode. Make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.